Hi friends, it's Brianna here with Wellness Stock Shop and I wanted to just take a minute to show you how you can actually use these beautiful mock-ups that you have at your fingertips inside Wellness Stock Shop. So if you're inside Wellness Stock Shop and you see these photos that have these iPads and iPhones and computer screens that are blank, you can easily add text over the screen, but you can also use them in really savvy ways to show off, for instance, your landing page or your website or your Instagram feed or any sort of offering that you have. So I wanna make sure that you take full advantage of these and you know how. So I'm gonna show you how to use Photoshop to add a screenshot to these blank screens. So let's go ahead and jump over to Photoshop. So I have seen this done in so many different ways and it can be really confusing. So I'm going to show you the easiest way that I have found and it makes it so quick and simple. So what I do is I choose whichever image I want from Wellness Stock Shop and I load it into Photoshop. So you can see that here. And I also load in whichever um, photo or screenshot that I have that I want to be adding into this screen right here. So you can see right here in my tabs that I have two tabs, one for uh, the screenshot or the photo and a separate tab for the actual mock-up. So first we go over to the screenshot and I have actually selected this by hitting command A. So I've selected the entire thing and then I just go up to copy. So I've copied this photo and then I head over to my mock-up photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my little magnifying glass and I'm gonna get up a little bit closer so it's easier to work with this. Then I'm gonna go over to my magic wand tool right here and I just select the screen right here so you can see it puts these little um, marching ants all the way around the black screen, super easy. Now I just go up to edit, paste, special, paste into, and then hit okay. And voila, there it is in the screen. So easy. So it's in there, but obviously it's crooked. So what I'm gonna do is use the transform tool. So on a Mac, it's command T for transform. And then I can just kind of rotate this around until it fits the screen. I can bring this in make sure that it's all lined up get it nice and it's easy to become a perfectionist while you're doing this i think that looks pretty good i want to make sure that it's really taking up the entire screen and then you just hit enter and there it is you're done so i'm going to use my magnifying glass to zoom out now and you can see how it just fits in there so you can just save that now. So I also want to show you how to add a photo to an iPad screen and it's exactly the same, but I just want to run it through again so you really get the gist of this. So I have actually taken a screenshot of Wellness Stock Shop, the website, and that's what I'm going to place into that screen. So again, I want to select this. I do Command A, then I go up to Edit, Copy, now I'm going to go over to my mock-up and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit on the screen and now I'm just going to do a magic wand tool, click inside the black screen area and now it's totally highlighted so super easy. Now I'm going to go up to edit, paste special, paste into, hit OK and there it is. Super cool, right? So now I do Command T to do the transform tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of line it up here. And you're gonna see that this iPad is not straight on towards the lens. So it's not straight lines in alignment with this um, screenshot. So what you can do is you can easily just kind of fit it to the best that you can like this, and then I'll go ahead and fit it maybe over into this corner here, and then I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna say distort. 
And this is allowing me to actually change what that photo looks like in alignment with the area that I have to work with. So it still looks realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up these little corner dots with the corner of the screen and it looks pretty good. Make sure everything else is lined up. And it's really just use your eye and see if it's placed how you want it to be placed. That looks pretty good. Maybe move this one over a little bit. You can get as perfectionist as you want and hit enter. And there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so you can see what that looks like. Looks pretty cool. This really offers a really smart and unique way to highlight any of your offerings, your web page that you want people to go to, your landing page, um, your website. It really allows you to showcase your business or your offering in a really unique way.